Hey everybody, uh, my name is Carter Robasa and I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio. Uh, at this point in the blog post, we have connected our node server to all of its clients using Socket.io. So now, anytime a vote comes into the server um, over SMS, uh, the server can notify all of the clients in real time that there's a new vote and the clients can update um, the graphs of the voting dynamically. Um, I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys exactly what this looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is fire up my node server. So I've got a node server running on port 3000. Let's go ahead and go over to the browser and uh, load an event. In this case, I'm just going to make a request for an event called demo. Cool. So this is a uh, representation of the current state of voting for, the, for demo. Um, let's go ahead and simulate a vote. Um, in this case, I'm just going to send uh, a post to my web server um, formatted um, exactly the same way that it would expect to get a post from Twilio if the voting was happening over SMS. So this is pretty simple. I'm just going to format a little post with curl. And I just need to pass along all the parameters that my web server is expecting to get from Twilio. So let's go ahead and set up the two phone number. Uh, we can go ahead and just create a, a dummy from phone number. And the last thing is, we just need to tell the server uh, what the body of the text message was, which uh, indicates exactly what people were voting for. In this case, let's vote for option three. Awesome, so cool. So you see that uh, the chart updated dynamically, went from four to five, um, and uh, had this been an SMS, we would have gotten a, a thank you response from the application. So, uh, so that's it. Thanks.